Hey everybody, my name is Ren, and we're playing Project Zomboid. A couple quick notes before we begin. We are uh, still in the middle of our RimWorld playthrough in Danger Colony Z, or Danger Sector Z, and we are um, actually doing this episode a day early because we just finished up FTL, and uh, the finale was uh, a little shorter than anticipated. Um, so uh, we've got this video here for you today, and uh, we're going to make a new series out of this. Uh, I've played this game a little bit. Um, <laughs> like most of the games that I play, I'm not actually uh, any good at it. But I do really, really enjoy the game, and uh, I hope that you enjoy it too. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, we have this this uh, this nice music in the background. Uh, we have uh, survival, sandbox, and last stand. I think sandbox is uh, essentially survival, uh, except that it lets us set our own parameters. Um, so just to show that off, we have uh, we have two maps. We have Muldraw and West Point, Kentucky, both modeled after uh, the real locations, uh, as well as you can given the the artistic style of the game, and. Um, I broke it. So, uh, what, can I, can I, okay, I, I created a world, uh, by, by going in and then backing out, uh, I broke it. The game is very much still in development, um, I think it's, it's still alpha, uh, I, I may be wrong, uh, it may be, it may be beta, but I think it's still alpha, um, lots of, uh, new builds all the time. Things break, things get fixed, but look, we we uh, we select our map, we come in, and we have all sorts of options. So we can change the uh, population of the zombies uh, from normal to uh, uh, from from no zombies all the way up to an insane amount of zombies. We can change the zombie distribution between uh, urban focus zombies, where they will kind of congregate more in city centers, uh, or uniform distribution, where they're just kind of evenly spread throughout. Uh, the urban focused is really cool because the, it, it is a little more realistic. Um, and then there's an option for survivors. Um, right now, all, all you can do is have none, but in a future update there will be NPCs, which will add a whole new uh, dynamic to the game. Um, we also have time options, so we can customize the the length of a day in real time. So um, it could be anywhere from 30 minutes for a day to go by to uh, uh, a real time day. We're going to change it um, to 30 minutes, and uh, just because uh, for the sake of uh, our relatively short videos. Um, we're gonna change. Uh, we have the start month can be any month, kind of like Oregon Trail. You'll have different hardships if you do different times of the year. Um, you can change your start time, uh, so you can start in the middle of the night if you want. And um, we have world options like uh, water shut off, electricity shut off, um, and these options uh, allow you to sort of configure the uh, the possible length of time that you can have. Uh, running water and, electric uh, and electricity w in the city. Uh, uh, once that goes out, you have to fend for yourself without it. Uh, the loot rarity, the temperature, the rain amount, uh, and then also, uh, right now we have proper zombies, uh, but you can change these uh, from their speed, whether they're shamblers or sprinters, uh, their strength, their toughness, uh, how the infection is transmitted, everyone can be infected, like the Walking Dead, um, the, in, the mortality uh, of infection, uh, how many days it takes, uh, the reanimation time, um, cognition, uh, so, so the zombies can be smarter or dumber, uh, their memory, so that'll help, uh, you know, whether they know uh, if you were around or if they just forget about you. Uh, their decomposition, so they can actually decom uh, decompose over time and become weaker. Uh, how good they can see, hear, and smell. So there's a lot of options. Um, and normally, well, I, I guess I, I make a habit of this, but I, I'd like to not spend as much time on menu options in the future. But to be honest, Project Zomboid has a lot of really cool options for people looking for a zombie survival uh, simulator and sandbox. Um, so. Um, I just wanted to go through that. We're going to leave most of these default except for the day length, um, and we're going to click play. Uh, look, we get to create our uh, character here, 
and um, uh, I, I don't have any particular uh, character in mind, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click random a few times and just see what we get. Look at this, look at this. Here we go. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, and we're just going to stop right now. We got Sean Ward. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Sean Ward, and um, we should see if we can give him a cool beard, though, at least. Can, can we even tell? Uh, we cannot. Um, so, Sean Ward, and now we get to create our character. Um, we have occupations that give us different buffs. Um, breaking down the doors, marksman, park ranger. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do Sean Ward. The, oh, look, it changes our default clothes. This is snazzy. Um, oh, got to be a construction worker. Look at that. We're running around. It looks like he's got some hair on his chest. Sean Ward, the construction worker. He's thick skinned, uh, so he's less chance of scratches or bites breaking the skin and he can barricade faster. That's great. Uh, we have a bunch of different traits here that we can we can choose and look we can they have a cost associated and we start with zero points to spend so we have to take negative traits uh, in order to afford positive traits and it looks like many of the negative traits uh, are actually cheaper uh, than the positive traits so you may need multiple negative traits to get the one positive trait that you want. Um, so what are we going to do? Um, we are going to um, let's get brooding. We recover slower from bad moods. We're going to get um, I don't know. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to get short tempered uh, because I think that only really applies uh, to NPCs and we don't have that yet. And um, so we're going to exploit the game and then we're going to go ahead and pick um, extra knockback for melee weapons and increased carrying weight. That is great. We're going to get strong. So we are Sean Ward, the uh, the short-tempered, brooding, uh, but very strong construction worker. And we're going to click play. This is how you died. you got to love that. Look, uh, telling us right from the beginning uh, that, that this is how we die. Um, okay. Um, so, uh, we have these little tips on the side. I've actually played this before, um, so uh, even though I'll, I probably need to read all of these um, in order to be any good at the game, I'm going to go ahead and um, and close it, and we're just going to get started. I don't, what is, I don't know what this menu is. Um, I, I have no idea what this menu is, but look, we have our inventory. I like to pin these open, so you can see that the inventory management a little bit uh, wonky right from the start. Uh, the left side is what we have. Uh, the right side is uh, what's in the container around us. If you look, uh, you can see that uh, we have very strict line of sight. So uh, if I'm looking away from part of the room, I can't actually see what's behind me. Things get darker. Um, I can open this. I can open this curtain and look outside. Look, it's the morning. Um, I can open windows, but I think we're on the second floor, so we're not going to do that. We're going to close the curtains again, and we're going to check in the cupboard. What do we have? Uh, we have pants and shoes right now. Let's get a vest. We're going to get a vest. We're going to wear it. Oh, this is this is fantastic. Okay, so we've got our nice, um, our nice beautiful vest, um, and we're going to explore the house. Uh, looks like everything in the house is um is okay look there's no zombies yet uh, is there anything in here no we're safe for now we're gonna loot we've got some sleeping tablets do we care about that no we don't want to carry too much extra stuff what we do want to do is grab these curtains we're gonna remove the curtains curtains are great because if we find another house that we want um, to that we want to occupy and turn into a safe house we can easily uh, throw some curtains up and uh, make it so the zombies can't see in. Look, we're going to grab sheets here, which are just more curtains. And, um, <laughs> look, can we can we wear it? We can wear a skirt. Uh, Sean Ward uh, was trying to wear a skirt, but it looks like um, on a man that it's just pants. Uh, so uh, the Indie Stone developers of uh, Project Zomboid, uh, just, you know, um, take note. Uh, 
this is kind of uh, kind of sexist. Uh, Sean Ward really wanted to wear a skirt, and uh, and now um, he can't. So um, you know, maybe maybe for the future, um, um, just keep that in mind. That uh, some men, you know, just really, um, especially in the zombie apocalypse, uh, just like that that uh, freedom of movement and just the ability to breathe uh, uh, between your legs that only a skirt provides. Um, we're gonna go through the. We're gonna rifle through these cabinets. We're gonna see if there's anything we can use. Uh, we could grab a fork. I think we can use it as a weapon. Uh, we can, but I, I, even even Sean Ward, uh, brave, strong Sean Ward, I don't think is uh, quite equipped for um, uh, combat using a fork. What we can do, look, we're gonna grab a garbage bag. Um, we can use this as a uh, as a secondary kind of inventory to carry our um, our stuff that we don't need immediate access to. So we can put our sheets in here, and in they go. And what this actually does is um, it doesn't remove the weight from your inventory. This uh, five of sixteen is our carrying capacity here. It doesn't actually remove the weight, but it reduces it um, by a factor of ten. Um, so you can see the garbage bag has a weight reduction of 10. It's not very good, but it is um, better for carrying a bunch of sheets than just uh, wrapping them around the back of my neck, uh, which is typically how I, I carry um, anything, to be honest. Um, we have some, some food in here, but look, it's it's all perishable food. We've got the, uh, the little blue background, and so there's not really much point to taking it out with us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat a leek. Why not? We're eating a leek. We're going to get some water. There we go. We can actually get water out of the toilet if we so choose. Um, and I feel like we're not actually equipped to uh, to leave yet because um, all we found in the way of weapons are... Uh, look, we've got more sheets. We're going to grab a bath towel too because you never know if it's going to rain. We might need to dry off. Uh, we found nothing in the way of weapons other than uh, some forks. So we're going to grab a fork uh, in desperation, equip it as our primary, and hope to God that we do not need to use it. So here we go, out into the world. I don't see any zombies. We look around, we can hold control to look around here. You can see I bring my fork up. If I'm holding control, that's how you attack. So we get ready, and then we can jab this fork in. Look, look at Sean. He's just jabbing his, his fork like it's nobody's business. It actually looks a little bit like a, 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 a shiv, um, but uh, it's a fork, I assure you. Uh, so let's check this building nearby. You can see there's a zombie over here, um, but we're going to leave him alone. We're going to go inside. Ah. Oh. Okay. It's locked. We're going to try opening the window. Here we go. You can do it, and we're climbing in. Great. There's a zombie on the ground. Can we... I'm missing. I suck. Did we get him? He's dead. There. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, blood everywhere. That's exactly what we want. Are we okay? Are we injured? We're fine. We didn't get bit, um, and and we totally wasted uh, uh, that that totally uh, dead thing. So we're gonna we're gonna check. Look, we got a kitchen knife. We got a weapon upgrade already, and the fork is already broken. Uh, the fork is useless. Uh, we have some canned beans. Oh, how did I grab a kitchen knife? when we actually have a frying pan. We're grabbing the frying pan. The kitchen knife can stay back. Uh, I don't know about you, but I imagine that shoving a kitchen knife into someone's eye sockets uh, to destroy the brain would be much more difficult than actually just um, bashing them in the head with uh, a cast iron frying pan. And look at that. We've got this giant, giant frying pan. Look at the swing. Ah, it's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to keep looting, um, and we've got a plastic bag. This has actually got better weight reduction than uh, the garbage bag. Uh, so we are going to transfer, and, and this is a little bit of the inventory management game here. You can see we have to wait for everything to kind of transfer over. And then uh, once that is done, uh, we can equip the grocery bag. Um, but before I do that, so that we don't have to do this again, I, I think actually I'm gonna uh, loot the rest of the house first and that way 
Look at that. We had a whole thing of peanut butter all to ourselves. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, when I'm at home, anytime I buy peanut butter, uh, I, I, I feel like uh, I only get to eat a little bit of it before uh, it just gets devoured by uh, anyone else that comes through the house. I don't know how that happens. Uh, I look again, and the peanut butter's gone. Uh, what do we have? We have a fresh banana. We have a tomato. We're going to eat the tomato because we like tomatoes. And we're going to continue exploring this house. Um, there could still be zombies around here. Uh, it would help if we actually checked. Look, we turn on the light. Oh, it's so fantastic. Um, checking these shelves. What do we have? We have uh, maybe a, a dirty porn mag and um, just some old crumpled up newspapers that no one wants to read, uh, but maybe that the owner of the house kept just to uh, uh, cover his porn mag so his wife wouldn't see uh, without really digging around. Um, which, uh, pro tactic, uh, but uh, probably not the best place to hide your dirty porn. And so uh, it, it more or less serves him right for getting caught up in this zombie apocalypse. Um, no one's in the bedroom? Good. Let's see what we can find. Empty notebook. Um, and a pillow. Nothing of any use. Uh, what do we have in here? We got a long hallway. And, oh, are there any zombies in here? They're all corpses. Whew. Looks like we had a tragedy. Uh, little, little Timmy was uh, on the bed here sleeping when uh, this zombie came in and uh, and and he was bitten and his parents came in to save him uh, when they heard the commotion but they didn't stand a chance and uh, now they're all dead uh, but good news for us because we're taking his curtains and uh, if he were still alive he, he, he may actually not want us to have his curtains um, Wow we are just not having any luck with oh there's light on in the house over there I don't think we're supposed to see that but we did I'm gonna take these curtains too we were just we were just hungry for curtains and we're climbing out the window again here we go let's go check this house with the light We're going to look in the window first, because... Oh, Jesus, what do we see? Oh, look, there's a zombie right inside. Can we get inside? Is it open? No. Alright, we got the window open. We're going inside. There's a zombie right on the other side of this door. Here we go. We're hitting him. Look at him. He's down. We're going to bash him. Ah, oh, look at that blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. Okay. One zombie down. Let's clear the house. What do we got? Nothing in here. We're going to loot real quick. I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do, but we're going to do it. Uh, we've got some seeds. You can actually farm in this game. I don't anticipate living long enough to be able to do that, so I'm not even going to grab them. But... Um, Super useful uh, for endgame. Uh, if you live long enough to, to get a farm up and running, um, once the once the power goes out, once you start running out of uh, of non-perishable food, then uh, the perishable food will be long gone, and you can we're gonna eat an orange, and that actually gave us some thirst too. So I'm not gonna bother drinking. Um, what else? Is there a zombie in here? I don't know. Where are we? What is this room? Okay. A little, uh, little kid's room, it looks like. Uh, another sheet. I, I'm not even going to grab this sheet. We've got ten. Do I care anymore? Probably not. Uh, okay. What do we have? Is this a hallway? Oh, it's another room. Uh, oh, a closet. Okay. Uh, we have an advanced farming book, which, again, we won't have a chance to use. Um, and some other crap that we don't care about, honestly. Um, okay. And in the bedroom... Man, we are having a hard time finding anything worth a damn. Um, well, it's been uh, it's been a little while, so um, we're gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna hole up in here, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, so uh, that this is Project Zomboid. We'll have another episode uh, tomorrow, um, and we'll continue this. 
Um, I really like this game. It, it's a little slow, uh, but uh, it, if you're into survival, uh, survival games and zombies and zombie survival games, uh, I don't see how you could go wrong with Project Zomboid. Um, so, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.